Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial and this is going to be a color grading tutorial for those that don't have Capture One. You're going to be doing color grading in Camaro and also Photoshop. So the feature that you want to use for the color grading process in this image, you're just going to be using the hue, saturation and luminance option in both Camaro and Photoshop itself. And the image you're going to be using right now is taken by No the Law and I'm going to link his Instagram. In the description of this video so that you guys can check him out he has so much amazing work so you can check him out and follow him on instagram and the link is going to be in the description of this very video so like i said we're going to be using the hue saturation and luminance option to color grade this image and have the best and beautiful skin tones for this model right here so i'm just going to come to a camera filter and i'm just going to come to the color mixer option where we have the hue, saturation, and luminance. So, a brief information about what this means. Luminance is more of a brightness or darkness of a given color. So, if at all I turn the orange up, you can see it makes the oranges brighter and taking it down, it makes the oranges darker. And satur saturation basically is more about the intensity of a given color. So, for example, if at all I take the saturation towards my right hand side, it makes the reds intensified all so much and if at all i take this down it desaturates the reds in the photo so basically that is what saturation is all about and hue is basically a different shade of a color and it is more of targeting a color and changing it to look like either the color below it or the color above it so let me show you what i'm trying to mean so for example if at all I'm hewing the reds towards the right hand side like this you can see I'm making the reds look like the color below it and I'm making the reds more orange you can see that and if at all for example I'm hewing the oranges towards the left hand side i be making the oranges look like a color on top of it which is the reds you can see that we have under oranges this side is red and this side is yellow so meaning if at all i'm changing the oranges towards the, the right hand side i'm going to be making the oranges to look like a color below it so right hand side you'll be making the color like the color below it and left hand side you'll be making or changing the color to look like the color on top of it under the hue section so with that understood i'm just going to show you how it can get the best out of the skin tones of this very image so I'm just going to come first of all the saturation and I'm going to reduce on the intensity of the reds just like that up to around negative 33 and I'm also going to do the same for my oranges and just take them down slightly and you can see that we are now getting better skin tones but that is not all I'm just going to come back to the luminance and I'm going to darken the orange so that we can have a more pronounced skin for this model and i'm also going to come to the reds and simply brighten up the reds just like that so after doing that i'm just going to come to the hues and like i said i'm just going to make the oranges a little bit red just like that and make the reds a little bit more like the oranges so just like that and you can see that we are now transforming the image to look so great so after that, I'm just going to basically come to our saturation and I'm going to turn down the saturation a little bit more for my reds and also turn down the saturation a little bit more of my oranges. And what I want to do, I'm just going to take the yellows all the way down and remove the yellows from the overall image. So let's see the before and after so far. So this is the image before and this is what we have right now before and after. So we have a more uniform skin tone for this model. So I'm just going to come and also take down the reds even more. Just like that. And I'm going to also do the same for my oranges a little bit. So you can see just by moving a little or a few sliders in this photo, we have been able to transform this image for this case. So after doing that, we're just going to come down right here and play around with other colors so i'm just going to come and desaturate the blues for example and this looks great right now 
So I'm just going to hit open in order to open the image into Photoshop. So if at all you want the image to open as a smart object within Photoshop, you can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and you can open the image as a smart object. By smart object, I mean you are going to be able to change these values later on after opening the image into Photoshop. So I'm just going to hold down alternate and you can, as soon as I hold down alternate, it changes this from open to open copy. So by holding on alternate, I'm just going to click right here to open the image into Photoshop so that you can play around more with the hue, saturation and luminous values within Photoshop itself. So let's just give this a moment and be, as we are proceeding, I just request that you hit the like button on this video so that so many people out there may really learn from this video because when you like the video, YouTube recommends it to so many people out there who are interested in learning about color grading in both camera raw and also Photoshop itself. So right now the image has been opened into Photoshop and this is what we have right now. So like I said, we're just going to be working with the hue, saturation and luminance option or sliders in both camera raw and Photoshop itself. So I'm just going to come to the adjustments and I'm going to come and create a hue saturation adjustment. So just come and click on it. So with this done, you can see we have different colors like we had initially in the camera raw filter. So we have reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, and magentas. So you can selectively click on a given color and play around with the values of the hue, saturation, and lightness. So the difference right here is about lightness. So lightness is how dark or how light you want the color to be in the image. So it is more of luminosity, but in the Photoshop version. So for the reds, I'm just going to come and play around with the values of my hues. I'm just going to take the hues slightly up to around 4 and it's going to warm up the image slightly to around 3. And I'm just going to take down the reds even more, slightly around negative 5. And let me see what the lightness does. So I'm just going to brighten up the reds for this case to around 3. So I'm just going to also come and target the yellows. So under yellows, you can come and take out the yellows even more by taking down the saturation. And you can hue the oranges. So right now we don't have so much of the yellows. But I'm just going to add a slight bit of greens within the yellow. So just take it up a little bit. And after doing that, I'm just going to come to our science and we see what that can do for us. So let me play around with this slider. So basically, this is it. So I'm just going to come back to the reds and I see how far... I can take this image or how far I can transform this image to look even better. I'm just going to come to the saturation and I'm just going to desaturate the reds even more just like that. And you can see that the skin is now looking a little bit more even. And if at all you feel like you want to warm up the image, you can take this up depending on your taste and preference as the person doing the color grading. So art is really subjective. So I think this looks really nice and great. So you can see how far we have been able to transform this image and how nicely done and how beautiful it looks in this case. So basically this is how you can color grade your images using Camera Raw and Photoshop and just using the hue, saturation and luminous values or adjustments to color grade and have the best out of your skin tone. So this is all for today's tutorial. And this image is taken by no the law and the link is going to be in the description of this video so that you can check him out. And those who want to try out with the raw files, just check him out and you can try out the raw files. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing toys. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.